Aloha. So today we are going to learn how to navigate around a terminal. Um, first, don't worry about what I'm doing here. We'll talk about that in just a second. So first thing that we want to kind of discuss is, well, by the end of this lesson, here are the things you should be able to do. You should be able to create files, create folders, remove files, remove folders, and move current location. So let's start off with this guy, creating files. And actually, you know what? We're going to add a little bullet point in here, which is list files. These are the things you should be able to do by the end of the lesson. So the first thing that we want to talk about today is listing files. This one is pretty easy. So let's say I want to check all of the files in a given folder. All I really got to do is type into my ls. Uh, I got to type into my terminal ls. If I do this, it's going to provide a list to me of all of the files in that folder. To kind of give you an idea and maybe make this a little bit less scary, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop open a finder window uh, if it ever decides to show up. Let's see. Not sure where it went there. Oh, it's over here. So I'm going to pop open a finder window and I just want to show you all here. Um, if I go into, let's say, my root folder here, notice how if we look to the left, we have all code challenges, applications, blogs, and hey, that looks an awful lot like what's in here. Pretty nifty stuff. So that's because at its heart, that's all that it really is. Let's go ahead and I'm going to make a file the lame way, the not cool software developer way. And I'm going to right click in here and create a new folder. And we're going to call this folder uh, Z, 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 Z. And that's just so it'll be at the end. Oh, whoops. Uh, I was typing that into my terminal on accident. I'm going to rename this here. We're just going to call it Z, Z. Why is it? Hang on a second. Bam, rename Z, 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 Z. And now it's just at the end. That's the only reason why I created it. Let's go ahead and type in ls again. And you will see that since these are just basically two different ways of looking at the same thing, when we list all of the folders and files in this current directory, then we have that file added in there. I could also likewise, I could delete this the old way. Um, bam, it's gone. And now if I look in here, it's also gone. So that's the first thing that we kind of wanted to figure out is how do we list files? Now, I'm actually going to switch up the order of things here. The next thing I want to show you is how do we move around files? So I'm actually just going to take that one and put it here. So, but first let's take our notes here. So to list a file, we use the command uh, ls. This will list all of the files. Actually, I should not say to list a file. To list, use this command, and this will list all of the files and all of the folders in a given folder. I also want to make a note here that you're going to hear me use uh, a folder and directory the same way, they're basically the same thing. So a folder and a directory are the same thing. So don't worry about that if, cool, awesome. Uh, I did not mean to do that, cool. And I'm wondering what this is saying in wrong, space inside that, bam. Oh, I think I need that is what it is, cool, awesome. Well, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. But yeah, so this is saying, that's all we have to do to list. To um, move folders is kind of the next thing I wanted to talk about. So now that we have the ability to like list files inside of a folder, well, now we kind of need to figure out how do I list files maybe inside of a different folder? The first way we could do that is we can go and we could type in ls and then the file name that we want. So for example, 
let's go to VS Code Wiki. And in general, by the way, whenever you're in a command line, this goes for PC users, Mac users, you have access to this tab uh, feature, which auto completes um, based off of like what's in there. For example, let's say I have code year challenges and coding game all right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and type in LS COD and watch. It knows that all of these are the things that start with COD. So I can flip between them. And that's all with tab, which is pretty sweet. But for now, I wanna list everything inside of VS Code Wiki. So I'm just gonna type in VS, press tab and bam. Now I can see all of the files in there. The next thing I want you to uh, kind of look at here is if we look at this squiggly line, that's actually telling me what directory I am currently inside of. So right now I am currently inside of my home directory. This little squiggly line here is called a tilde. I think that's spelled T-I-L-D-E, but it's called a tilde. And what it represents is that you are inside of your home folder. Your home folder is not your outermost folder, but your home folder is where you're going to be doing most of your work. Okay. So now let's see what happens if I move into another folder. What I want to do now is I want to move inside of VS Code Wiki. So what I'm going to do is from my home folder here, I want to CD or change directory, which is just like saying change folder into VS Code Wiki. And now if we look, when I press enter on the left here, we have VS Code Wiki, which means that I'm effectively now working inside of VS Code Wiki. For example, if I type in LS right now, whoops, if I type in LS, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think about maybe what will pop up. Six, seven, eight nine, 10. All right, I'm gonna press enter. So after listing everything inside of VS Code Wiki, we get all of the things inside of it here on this folder. So in general, this and this are effectively right now, two representations of the same thing. You might ask yourself, why do we do stuff from the terminal? And the answer to that is, there is a lot of reasons. One of the reasons is in your terminal, you can do installs and you could do some fancy things that you just can't do in your uh, browser, but that's not something you're going to get into really for a little while. For now, we need to get you comfortable on this command line. I promise this will not be that hard if you just do it a bunch. I promise you'll do it every class. You'll be like, oh, okay. I can't believe this command line stuff scared me at one point. Um, awesome. So now we can see if we list inside of VS Code, we see all of these files here, awesome. So now um, we've kind of checked off this listing uh, thing, but let's take a note on the fact that you can use ls with a folder name to list the things inside of that folder. Or you can use ls with no arguments to list the things inside of the current folder. The current folder in this case would be VS Code Wiki. And that's because I cd'd into it. So now we're going to write our little command for changing directories. Okay. So when we change directories, we use the CD command. So the first thing to note about that is you typically will use this like CD and then you will input a folder name. is kind of like what we did last time, but also, so we'll say this moves into the folder. 
but also we can do CD and then no arguments to it. And this will move back to your home directory. So let's take a look at this. I said here that if I type in CD and don't provide an argument to it, then by the time I press enter, I will be moved into my home directory. I'm gonna give you another 10 seconds to look over here and ask yourself, what is the left of this gonna look like after I press enter? Starting countdown now, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you guessed like that little squiggly line, you were right. Because no matter where I'm at, I can always CD back into my home folder by just typing in CD, no arguments. You can also type in CD and reference that little squiggly line to move back to your uh, home folder. Either way, it works just fine. Um, but it's always good to know what that little squiggly line means, which is basically you're in your home folder. All right. So now what we're going to try doing is we are going to look. Uh, Y'all won't be able to follow along with this part. So I think we're going to come back to this changing directories thing. The next thing that I want to focus on is how do we create files? How do we create folders? We'll come back and fill out a little bit more about changing directories afterwards. So let's talk about this, creating files. Guess what? This is super easy. Same every time. It's just touch and then the file name. And it's as simple as doing this. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna write in touch. Jonathan is the coolest dot txt. And now if I type in, or actually if you want, we can look at it on here. I'm gonna go back here so that way y'all can see. Bam, see how I just created a Jonathan is the coolest dot txt. That's it. It's just touch and then the file name after it. You could also make uh, multiple files in the same go. So I can do a.txt, b.txt, and then c.txt. And I just created three files at the same time. We're gonna go ahead and delete those. I'm gonna delete them the old, uh, actually we'll leave them there because uh, that's the next thing we'll talk about. Awesome. So we can also do touch and then Let's go file name one, file name two, etc. Cool. So now let's look at removing files. So this one's actually pretty easy. All you gotta do is type in, if this creates one, you just need rm or remove and then file name nothing crazy you can also do again you can remove multiple at once so we could do file name one file name two and you know file name three whatever you get the idea you can keep it going both of those are valid so let's check this out I created an a.txt, a b.txt, a c.txt, and also a Jonathan is the coolest.txt. Well, I have to delete this Jonathan is the coolest file because actually you are the coolest. So what I gotta do here, that was corny as hell, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna go in here and I am going to type in rm, and then I'm gonna start typing j-o-n and see if it auto completes, and hey, it did. So I'm gonna say, okay, cool, that's probably spelled right. And now if I remove this, we can see in here that jonathan.txt file is no longer there. We can also remove multiple things at the same time by doing, uh, just adding all of them in there. So we have a.txt, 
we're going to have b.txt and c.txt and we want to get rid of all of those so bam one command i just got rid of all of them you actually saw them go away on here which is pretty cool here's the thing though those are just files and also we're going to have to know how to create folders so the next thing that we're going to talk about is creating folders okay so the first thing that i would do to create a folder is a very simple command there is a command called mkdir so mkdir stands for make directory and all we need to do is i'll do folder name here just to reiterate that a folder and a directory are the same thing so now i have make directory folder name right simple as pi let's make a folder called a now so i'm going to go ahead and do mkdir or maybe we can make one called puppies okay so i just made a directory called puppies and if we look inside of here there should be somewhere a folder called puppies and you know what let's go ahead and make some files in there so I want you to take, I am going to put a minute on the clock. I want you to make this directory called puppies. Actually, I'm going to put two minutes on the clock. I am going to make this directory called puppies. And I want you to go inside of puppies and create three files. And one of your files has to be named Doomslayer after my buddy here in Doomslayer. Oh. So after three minutes, I should see three files in here. And without using your finder, you have to do it all in your command line. You should have three files in here. Doomslayer could be one of them. You could do two other ones on dogs of your choice. But this is also Doomslayer, if you were curious. Got to get the timer on. Set timer for two minutes and 30 seconds. For two minutes and 30 seconds. And now y'all get to hear me sing. Doodly doo, it's Doom Slayer. Doom Slayer, looking cute. Gotta make a file about Doom Slayer because he's the cutest dog. Doodly doo, 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 doo. All right, enough of that song. I've had too much caffeine today. Also, feel free to skip ahead. Um, you know, I got a minute and 30 seconds left until I start again. So feel free to skip ahead if you feel comfortable with this stuff. Thirty seconds left, approximately. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Yeah, so pencils down. 
there's no pencils. Anyways, so the solution here is what you want to do is you want to CD into this directory that we made called puppies, kind of like in here when I went and I saw, uh, let's see, where was it? I saw puppies and I clicked on it and then I was inside of the folder, kind of like that. We just want to CD into puppies. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll also move back in here so we can see what we've created. And of course, the very first file that I'm going to be creating is called Doom Slayer. So I am going to create a file using the touch command and we are going to call it uh, Doom Slayer and maybe give it like a file extension. You don't have to, you could just call it Doom Slayer and bam, now we have a file there. We can make another one and call it uh, Maddie. That was an old dog I had that died, RIP, bam. And then we can also have uh, Kona, which is a dog that my ex-girlfriend stole from me, RIP. Well, that's not an RIP, she's still alive, but yeah. Anyways, I loved Kona, but Doom Slayer is also the best. And so is Maddie. Anyways, okay, there's enough about dogs. Um, cool, so we have created those files. Now, the next thing I want y'all to do, and I'm only gonna put about 20 seconds on the clock this time, is I want you to, while still inside of this puppies directory, I want you to remove all three of those files. All righty, 30 seconds on the clock, and it's gonna be in my head 30 seconds, not accurate, so don't. Uh, don't get mad at me if it's not perfect. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So to remove these files, we're going to type in RM and then all of the file names. I'm going to start with Doomslayer. I'm then going to go to Maddie. Then I'm going to go to Kona. Bye bye, doggies. And they're gone. Cool. All righty. So. Hopefully by now you can create files, you can create directories, but you know what? We don't need this puppy folder anymore because why the heck do I need a puppy folder when I have a ton of puppy pictures in my phone? So what I am going to do is now make the next thing that we've got to study here, removing folders. And this is actually super easy because guess what? The same command that we use to remove files is almost the same command that we use to remove folders. So the command that we are going to use to remove folders is going to be rm-rf and then your folder name. Let's see what happens if we try to remove a folder without uh, anything. But before we do that, Actually, and this is kind of why I wanted to write this while teaching the lesson is because the order of these things is not necessarily like you could learn one after the other. Before that, let's say we want to remove puppies. We can't remove puppies from inside of puppies. We have to be outside. So what I mean by that is this. Let's take a look at that finder. How can I delete puppies if I'm inside of it? So what I have to do is I have to go back to being outside of puppies, click on puppies, and then delete it. I could do that with command delete here, but that would kind of defeat the purpose because we're trying to learn command line. So what we want to do is we want to CD out of it. So CD dot dot, will move outside of a directory. And in general, this dot dot is a reference to the folder 
outside of the one you are in. You're going to see this all over the place, not just here. This is not even just a this thing. Um, I could show you some code of mine that it's in. For example, in here, don't worry about what this code is. I had to import Justice Reskill logo from dot dot slash assets because it's one outside of whatever folder this is in. Now, don't stress too much about the code you may have seen. It's really not a problem. Uh, but the thing that I want you to take away here is that we can CD out of a folder using this dot dot command or dot dot location is what I would call it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to CD space dot dot and hey, now I am back in my home folder. From here, what I can do is I can remove rm-rf puppies, bam. And now puppies is gone. Cool, let's make another directory. Uh, actually, what I want you to do is I am going to put five minutes on the clock. And what I want you to do is make a file tree that looks like this. I want you to have on the outermost layer, I want you to have people, or let's call it, uh, mm, let's do it like my homies. And then inside of here, I want you to have another folder that represents, and let's go ahead and just make some more space here. I want you to have another folder here that represents my closest homies and one folder that represents, so we could just write it like this. And then another one that says my not so close homies. And I want you to, inside of here, I want you to create three of your closest homies. So homie one, homie two, and oh, whoops, homie three. And then here you're gonna do the same thing. And these will be your less close homies. Homie one, homie two, these could be different homies. <laughs> homie three. And I'm gonna put five minutes on the clock. This should be a folder. This should be a folder inside of that folder. And this should be another folder inside of that folder. I'm gonna go ahead and put five minutes on the clock. And at the end of that five minutes, I want you to stop and watch. And if you didn't get it, that's okay. Um, starting set timer for five minutes. And while that's going, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean okay. up this readme. Five minutes and counting. Let's call it in video. Just cleaning things up here. You should be working right now. If you're listening to me, then you're doing it wrong.
<laughs> Under the sea now. Which Under the sea. Ow. I need to drink some of this green tea. Whew. I know I already said earlier in the video uh, that I've had too much caffeine, but I feel like I need more caffeine. Let's get it. We've got about a minute and 15 seconds left. Let's see, we have 13 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's go ahead and make some homies. All right, so let's get it done. All right, so we are going to create a file tree that looks like this. Sweet. So I am going to... Uh, let's see, we have to first create a folder called my homies. So I'm going to type in MKDIR and then we're going to call it my homies. If I look in there, I want to create folders inside of there. The easiest way for me to do that is to first CD into there. So if I CD into my homies, now uh, I'm in there. And if I type in LS, I get nothing back because there's nothing inside of there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and open up that finder window here so we can do follow along with each step. So let's go ahead and go into my homies. Now that we're in there, we can create a directory for my closest homies. And then we can make another directory for my not so close homies. Bam. So I'm definitely going to shout out my BFF. Uh, let's see. Oh, got to delete that one. So now that I'm inside of here, I am going to. Oh, sorry. Little, little trouble here. I'm going to CD into my closest homies. And in here, now I can start creating those files. So I am going to create three files. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it all with one command. You could also do it with three. Actually, I'll do the first one with one. So I'll make one called Michael. He's like my BFF, BFF. I got Rachel, uh, Rachel, oops. Well, I guess I made a mistake. 
So what can I do? I can go ahead and remove that one and then create another one that's called Rachel. There we go. She's one of my closest homies. And then also I got a Talib one, bam, there we go. Got my closest homies there. Um, and now I need to make another folder for my not so close homies. So in order to do that, I need to move out of here and into here. So the first step of moving out of here is going to be typing in cd space dot dot. That's gonna move me one out. Bam, now I'm just in all of my homies. And now I wanna go in here, cd into my not so close homies. Now we're in here, bam. And I don't really know who to say here, so I'm gonna make up fake names. We got Bill. We're gonna make a Bill file. We're gonna make a Fred. I don't know anybody named Fred. And also a uh, 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 Mr. Cheeseman. I, I don't know, the guy, whatever. There we go. There are my not so close homies. And if we look now, if I type in ls here, it's gonna show me all of the files inside of this folder. If I move out by typing in cd dot dot, it's going to move me out one. And if I type in ls, I'm going to see my directories. So there you have it. We've created a my homies folder. My next assignment for you will be to remove your my homies folder. So what I want you to do is I am going to put 30 seconds on the clock and I want you to remove your my homies folder. So I'm gonna count it in my head. All righty, so the way that we're gonna do this is we are going to first CD out of my homies, and then we are going to RM or remove, dash RF or remove folder, and then my, we'll start it with a capital, my homies. And now if I press enter, Bam, it's gone. If I try to CD into my homies, uh-oh, I can't do it. All righty. So it, at this point, you should be good to go as far as like understanding, uh, as far as understanding how to move around. If you could do this assignment, you are good with CDing around. You are good with LS. You are good at all of that stuff, which is awesome. So pat yourself on the back. What I want you to do just to ensure that is I'm gonna create another assignment like this. And instead of me solving it for you afterwards, I want you to slack to me your a pick. Well, actually, I don't know that you're gonna be able to slack to me what you can do. I'll show you what you can do. If you go in here and you type in history, it's going to show you your past few commands. So for example, all the way from making the directory my homies, you can copy and paste all of that to me. So that way I can see that you did what you did. So what, you, what I want you to do is if I'm gonna give you a little assignment, at the end of that assignment, you're gonna type in history into your, uh, into your um, terminal. And I want you to copy and paste all the way from when, uh, when you created your my homies folder or whatever folder I'm gonna about to tell you to create. So what I want you to do is make a file tree that looks like this. Um, I gotta think of a topic here. Uh, cool, ah, I got it. So you are going to make a folder for 
uh, your favorite TV show. So you are going to have your favorite TV show. Uh, we can call it, you call it the name of your favorite TV show. So for me, I don't know. I don't know what my actual favorite TV show is right now. I'm watching Atlanta, but also I've been watching Attack on Titan. So maybe what I would do is call this Attack on Titan. Then inside of there, you're going to have a characters folder. And you would just call it characters. And you're also going to have, uh, actually we'll do it like this. We'll do a good guys folder and a bad guys folder. All of the protagonists, guys in this case, not meaning uh, specific gender for sure, because like, I don't know, I've just always used that term since I was a kid. In fact, you know what, let's go ahead and change it. The good characters folder, and let's do the bad characters folder. So all of the villains, oh, that'd be a good one, villain versus, okay, cool. Anyways, the good ones are going in here. So maybe in Attack on Titan, I will have, uh, let's see, uh, Aaron, well, I don't want to make any ruins, spoil for the show. Let's do, uh, I guess, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good example. Maybe if it was Dragon Ball Z, we'd have, uh, let's see, Goku, Frieza, uh, not Frieza, Bulma, and I don't know. And all of these would be files. So just try making that assignment. Uh, yeah, let's do a Dragon Ball Z one. Dragon Ball Z. Yours does not have to be Dragon Ball Z. Uh, this would be the good characters. Goku, Bulma, Chi-Chi, Piccolo. And then in the bad characters, we'll have Frieza, Raditz. Uh, let's see, we got... Uh, uh, why am I blanking? Cooler is one. I don't know how I could forget Cell. Boo is my favorite. Kid Boo, though. Don't worry about any of that if you don't know what it is. The point is, what I want you to do is create a folder with two folders inside, each folder containing different characters. All right, so when you're done with that, again, what I want you to do is slack me a picture or copy this text so I can see the commands that you run and make sure that they work. Alrighty, and that's it for the navigating around your terminal lesson.